chicken, ham, cheese. What a great combo. Well, that's what we're making. Swiss chicken. A nice, yummy, easy dish. Let's do it right now. Ingredients. We need four chicken breasts, some sliced ham, how about some Swiss cheese, a little bit of Dijon mustard, some cream, some white wine, a little bit of butter, some flour, salt and pepper of course. And to top it off, how about a little bit of garlic. All right, let's work on our chicken. And this is pretty simple. We're just going to slice them in half. So I got a nice sharp knife. And we're just going to cut right down the middle lengthwise and get two equal pieces. But then because of the way these chicken breasts are cut, sometimes you get little pieces. Eh, we'll use them. I'll try and not have those little pieces come out if I can help it. There. Now we've only got three of those little pieces and the rest are nice good slices of chicken. So let's put that aside for a sec. Mmm. Raw chicken. In a bowl. Our flour goes in. That's two tablespoons. You can put a little more in if you want. And I went easy on the salt and pepper. There's maybe a half teaspoon of each. Honestly, I would have put in probably a good teaspoon each, but salt and pepper is always to your preference. Give it a little mix. And now, we're just going to coat the chicken. Lightly. So you can see, it's just enough to cover it. You don't want a whole lot. It's almost dusted. Make sure you get all your sides. And when we're done, we'll get the little, the three little pieces that are left over because I'm not letting them go to waste. I'm sure somebody will eat them. Plus, I didn't want to. I wanted to use up the rest of the, uh, the flour, which I think I did. Okay, that went fairly easy. Let's get our chicken to the frying pan. And here's our pan with, well, that's more like three tablespoons of butter. A little bit of garlic. Now you could use regular garlic, finely minced. I happen to have a jar of roasted garlic in the fridge. So I thought let's use that rather than cutting up more garlic. It's all melty down. Let's get our chicken in. Uh, the only issue is it's not all going to fit. So I got to wait until later on once it's all nice and crispy golden like that. And you see that the chicken start shrinking. So I'm going to have enough room to put my last strip and the little pieces in. It should still work out. You want to make sure they're cooked. Two to three minutes each side. Uh, I think I let, made sure to let it go for at least three minutes before I flipped. And there you go. The whole thing's been cooking for the right amount of time. I actually flipped the other pieces while I was waiting for those last couple chunks to finish. Now this here is three quarters a cup of white wine. Bring her back to a boil and just kind of let it simmer for about 10 minutes. So we're going to get other stuff done while we're waiting. Here's our ham slices. I kind of counted out. We've got roughly eight chicken pieces. So I took the appropriate amount of ham, sliced it down the middle. I guess it depends on what kind of ham you got. Our Swiss cheese, the same thing. 
And I made the little pieces for the little guys. Green onions. I think my daughter was using these because for some reason they're all trimmed. But, you know, there, there's enough there. I can still work with it. So we cut the ends off. We got a whole bunch of green onions chopped up nice and neat into a little bowl. And we'll put that aside till we need it. Back to our chicken. Ten minutes has gone by. And you can see that they've been cooking for a while. I actually did flip them over once. So let's get them out of the white wine. And we're going to come back to that in a sec. Now, for whatever reason, I decided to use a cutting board because I wasn't planning on using it again. There's a reason you don't use a cutting board to get things out of a frying pan. As halfway through, I was kind of realizing that it's not like using a sheet pan or a dish. It doesn't have the same consistency, but it's okay. I made it work. Here's our liquid still left in the pan. I'm just kind of making sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. This is going to come up to a boil. We're going to let it simmer until it reduces by about half-ish. Back to our chicken. I've got a baking dish that originally I thought was too big for the job. Turns out it was just right. Give her a quick spray. And we're just going to take our chicken and carefully put it side by each into this pan. Well, yeah, I actually had a smaller pan to begin with because I thought there's no way. And I'm glad I got it because there's just enough room there for the chicken. That worked out good. Now we need to take our ham and carefully put each slice on top of the chicken. There, just like that. Now what I did was I ripped it in half just to make it fit because the one slice was just going to hang out all over so I thought let's make it to the right lengthwise for each piece and that's what I did so you can see there's overlapping on some of the pieces but it works good now for the cheese I actually tried to tent it up a little bit so I gave it a little bend in the middle because the chicken's a little round, I want to make sure it wasn't going to fall off when we put it in the oven, which is what we're going to do right now. At this point, everything's cooked, so into the oven, 350 for 10 minutes. And while we're at it, our wine sauce we've let reduce. Brought up to a boil and kind of let it kind of reduce a bit. Now into that is a tablespoon of mustard and our green onions. And you can see that liquid really reduced, but we'll put it off to the side till I got my cream ready to go, and then we put cream in. And that's a half a cup of cream. You can put a little more in if you really want to. And we're just going to mix it around, let it all combine. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And you can see on medium heat, you can see how it turned color. That's good. Looking good. We don't want it burnt, but we want it nice and simmery. Our chicken's out of the oven now. Looks good to me. Now the only thing we need is a plate. Because we're going to take the chicken out first. And then we're going to use that sauce that we just made. So let me see if I can get a couple decent... <laughs> So what happens, the first thing I do is ruin a piece. And my daughter was more than happy to use it. So let me try and get a second piece that looks halfway decent. Because, you know, i got to take pictures of this. Yeah, there's our chicken. Yummy. Now we take our sauce. And just like that, it's a mustardy kind of uh, sauce, <laughs> really. Anyway, we made that with some mashed potatoes and some beans. Now we got us a really good meal. And the last thing to do is to give it a try. Oh yeah, that's about right. Another great meal.
Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.